Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel, and I'm now answering question number three from the January 2022 International A Level Edexcel Pure Mathematics P1 exam paper. And this question here is about thirds and manipulation of thirds, it seems. It says f of x equals x plus 2 all squared plus 3x minus 5 root 8 all squared. Express f of x in the form ax squared plus bx plus root bx root 2 plus c, where a, b, and c are integers to be found. So what, I will, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take each of these separately and then add them together. So I have x plus root 2 squared. Now, the common mistake that many students make in this type of question is to just square each term separately. So they'll say x squared plus 2, x squared plus 2, and that's wrong. Okay, you can't do that because it's a bracket, okay, a square bracket. Basically, what it means, it actually means this. It means x plus root 2 multiplied by itself. So you're going to have a middle term. You have x times x, x times root 2, and then root 2 times x, and then root 2 times itself. So that's actually what it means. Now, I prefer, I prefer personally to expand using the pattern of square brackets which would be here where you expand you 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 square the first term okay so you're going to get x all squared and then if there's a plus i put a plus and then i multiply these together and double that so it'll be two times x times root two two times x times root two and then you square the last term which is root two all squared which is going to give me two all right so i've squared that bracket now i'm going to square the next bracket which is 3x minus 5 root 8 squared. So I'm going to deal with this slightly differently so that it becomes a bit clearer. Here I've got to square 3x, all of it. The common mistake here is to write this as 3x squared. In fact, it's going to become 9x squared. Then I've got minus, I'll write minus. Then the same thing, 2 times the product of these two. I've already written the minus down, so I won't bother writing the minus in this term. So it's 2 times 3x times... 5 root 8. So I'll write it like this to save confusion. Then I'm going to have the last term squared. Now, whenever you square something that's negative, it's going to become positive. So I don't need to write the negative there. So plus, and I'll have 5 times root 8 all squared. So now this is something that, of course, needs to be simplified. So 3x all squared is 9x squared. You have minus 2 times 3, which is mi minus 6x times 5. So that's minus 30 x times root 8 and then i'm going to have plus and this is 5 squared which is 25 times root 8 squared which is 8 so this will be 25 times 8 all right so just continuing to simplify this you end up with 9x squared minus 30x times root 8 plus 8 times 25 well 4 times 25 is 100 this is going to be 200 Okay, so that's um, how you expand this bracket. Now I need to add them together. So f of x is going to be the sum of those two. So f of x is going to be x squared plus 2x times root 2 plus 2 plus, I'll write it like this, it can make it as a column sum even, minus 30x root 8 plus 200. Okay, so when I add them together, I'm going to get 10x squared. Is it adding them together? Yes, adding them together. 10x squared, I'll have um, 2x, ah, okay, before I do that, you see we've still got something else to do, some, something else first, let's finish this, this is, root, this is root 8, and we have to give an answer in terms of root 2, so I need to change this root 8, I know root 8 is the same as root 4 times root 2, which is 2 root 2, so I can replace this root 8 with 2 root 2, so this is going to actually become 9x squared, minus 30 times 2, which is 60x times root 2 plus 200. Okay, now I can add them together. Okay, now I can add them together. So I'll say f of x is equal to x squared plus 2x root 2 plus 2 plus 9x squared minus 60x root 2 plus 200. Now I've got them in terms of what I need. So this is going to give me 10x squared. That's going to give me minus 58x root 2 plus 202. Okay, so there's my answer. So I can say f of x is equal to 10x squared minus 58x root 2 
plus 202 and that's the answer to part one of this question and now on to part two okay now for part two it says solve the equation root three four times four y minus three root three equals five y plus root three okay if i want to solve this equation i want to end up with y equals something so i need to um bring the y's together so what i'm going to do is i'm going to expand the bracket on this side so the y term is free then i'll bring the y terms on one side so this will be four times root three times y minus now this will be three times minus three times root three times root three which is three times three it will give you nine because root three times root three will give you three times three that will give you nine equals five y plus root three so now I can, i've got the y terms um able to you know i can move this y term around so i can now subtract four five y from both sides so I have four times root three times y minus five y equals and then i have root three plus nine because this will give me minus nine add nine to both sides now i can try to sort this y out so i can take y as common from these two terms leaving me with four root three minus five equals root three plus nine and now I can divide both sides by 4 root 3 minus 5. So y is equal to root 3 plus 9 over 4 root 3 minus 5. Now that's my answer. However, we want to express the answer in this form here, where p and q are fractions to be found. So how are we going to end up doing that? Well, we do that by rationalizing the denominator. Okay, so we want to express the denominator in a rational as a rational number without any thirds in it any square roots in it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the denominator and i'm going to multiply it by something which will get rid of the um third get rid of the uh, the the, the um, square root side and that is when you multiply it by what's called its conjugate which is the same two terms but with the opposite sign between them that will cause you to have like a difference of squares which will then get rid of the middle term, which will be, the middle term will be the term with, with the root in it. Because when I multiply this by this, the root will become, um, you know, we're gone, you have to square this term. So the root will be gone. The middle term will disappear because you have like a difference of squares and you'll be left with something without any square root. And then it will be able to be expressed in the form required. So if I, do, if I multiply the denominator by 4 root 3 plus 5, then I must multiply the numerator by the same thing. So I have the same value. So now let's, um, let's multiply that. Root 3 times 4 root 3 is like 4 times 3, which can give us 12. Root 3 times 5 is 5 root 3. 9 times 4 root 3 is 36 root 3. And 9 times 5 is 45. Over, and when I expand this, I'll have 4 root 3 times 4 root 3, which is 16 times 3. And then the middle term will disappear. You'll have 20 root 3 minus 20 root 3, which is 0. Then minus 5 times 5 is minus 25. Okay, so we're almost there. Let's just simplify this. This gives me 12 plus 41 root 3 plus 45 over, that's 48 minus 25, which is, that's going to give me 23. So I have here y equals 12 plus 47 is 50 sorry 12 plus 45 is 57 57 plus 41 root 3 over that's 23 23 okay so i end up with we want to express it as separate fractions p and q are simplified fractions so we've got to write this as two separate terms so this is 57 over 23 plus 41 over 23 times root 3. Okay, that's how we want to express it. P plus Q root 3, where P and Q are simplified fractions to be found. I don't think we can simplify these two fractions. There's no common factor in them, so that's the answer. That's the answer for Y in the form that is required in this question. And there we have um, the question finished. Question number 3 from the P1, January 2022. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist that should appear in this area. Other questions to do with uh, thirds and um, indices, I guess, thirds would be in this.
playlist over here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.